Hey everybody, how's everybody tonight? This is Lee with the Turquoise Valentine and my son Colin, and we're gonna do a DIY tonight. Uh, Why does it look all, does it look fuzzy to you? You want to me? Okay, it just don't look that clear. We're just gonna wait for some folks to hop on. And get on and share it. Oh, there's some peeps right there. Hey, say hello once you get on, so I know you're here. Hey, Diane. Hey, Kathy. Hey, Julie and Sylvia. <clears throat> hey, Susanna. Hey, Jackie. I did there's shave. A, there's a tag on the bottom of my... I did shave, Kaylee. It got, got, it got, a, it got annoying, so I, <clears throat> I actually got it shaved and I got a haircut. You got a haircut. Thank God. I know. It's starting to look like a wood right. Don't wipe the camera off. You think it looks fuzzy? Oh, that okay, we're wondering. I'm just hey, Kimberly. Hey, D. I was wondering if it looks kind of hazy or something. I didn't know if maybe my camera on my phone was dirty. Hey, Danica. Hey, Miss Jeffrey. Christine. And hey, Brenda. Yep, Kelly Collins back. He had to come in, um, see his mom on Mother's Day. Okay, guys, so. We're gonna get started. Oh, Diane, I'm glad you did. They looked good. I think you sent them to me. Somebody sent them to me a picture of them. Hey, Kathy. Hey, Natalie and Doreen. Miss Hey, Peggy. Hey, Tina. Okay, guys. Uh, so we're gonna <clears throat> we're gonna get um started. I'm I'm taking a frame that I have in my stash. It's just a regular frame. This is actually the front. And it's just got the, you know, doesn't even have glass in it. It's just a frame. And then that's the little board that comes in the frame. And that's just out of my stash. And I've had it for a while, leaning up in the closet. Um, so I'm going to take that. I said I'd do something with that for my house. Um, but we're going to do kind of a little bit of a new technique with it. <clears throat> so I'm going to actually set this to the side. Because it takes up my whole craft desk. So I'm going to take it, set it to the side. Okay. Let me get my stuff. Can't get it. Okay. So, um, oh, thank you, Tina. Dinosaurs. And your mama in. Oh, yeah, I was leaning over putting something on the floor, that frame, because it's so big. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, this is the, um, kind of that rubbery stuff that you get from the Dollar Tree. It goes under a rug on your floor. So your rug doesn't slide. That's what this is. <clears throat> and I've already cut a piece out to go on the frame. But it comes in this big sheet like this. And like I said, I've already cut the size out that I need. So you can get that in the Dollar Tree. Hey, Pat. Thank you, Sylvia. Hey, Debbie. <clears throat> so um, anyway, so we're going to take this. And like I said, I've already cut it the size that I need to put in that frame that I showed you. Hey, Marcy. Hey, Tammy. Hey, Pat from North Carolina. <clears throat> okay. You gotta have some water, guys. So what you doing? So I'm anyway, so I'm gonna take this, and it's like that rubbery, softy, foamy stuff, and I'm going to make it look like chicken wire, okay? And y'all are like, how in the world is she gonna do that? Well, just watch and see, and you'll find out. Y'all uh, sprinkle, 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 and some people might want to see this, because it's gonna be kind of neat. So, Hey, Sandy. Hey, Miss so, Sandy. So this is Waverly paint. It's an elephant. It's a little bottle, and I am down to the last drop. <clears throat> Sorry if I'm hurting your ears. I'm just trying to get it to come out. I may have to make my own gray with some white and black, um, but that'll be okay, too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint this, if it'll come out. All right. I got a little bit out, so... We'll go with that. I'm liking everybody's comment. Okay. Hey, Diana. Hey, Marcy. Hey, Michelle. Thank you, Michelle, for sprinkling. <clears throat> so, um, I got my elephant, what I have left. And like I said, I may have to, um, I may have to mix my own white and black because it's, it's gone. Thanks, Pamela. Um, hey, Stephanie. Madison. Hey. All right. So, I'm just taking 
one of my favorite little chip brushes. As you can tell, it's well loved. It's all rusty and everything else. I use them until I can't use them anymore. So I get my little 75 cents or whatever it is worth out of it. <clears throat> so I've got my craft paper on my table tonight because I'm going to paint this whole thing and make it look like chicken wire, okay? And like I said, it's the rug, it's the rubbery stuff that you put under a rug and you can get it at the Dollar Tree in a little pack. It's over there in the home section by the bathroom and stuff, kind of that aisle. So, <clears throat> so I'm just going to get some paint on my brush and I'm just going to paint this stuff. And I've already tried it because I was going to see if the paint would stick to it. And this is chalk paint. This is Waverly chalk paint. And it does stick to it. Anybody asking questions? Y'all have any questions? Just let me know and I can rehash what I'm doing. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Kimberly and Patty, for sprinkling. <clears throat> that means a lot to me. That helps out my page where other people can find me. Um, so, because if you don't, um, Facebook kind of shows you what you look at a lot. So if people um, don't normally look at crafting and they don't know that it's out there, then they won't see it unless they interact with it. So that's how it helps me get around Facebook is by you sprinkling. <clears throat> my voice and my mouth are not in sync. I don't know. You listen and see, Colin. All right. I'm sorry, I don't know what to do about that part. Not. It's, it's not in sync. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know what to do about it. Hey, Kim, thank you for sprinkling. <clears throat> I'm sorry. If it's not in sync, I'm sorry. I mean, Facebook has huh. been having a lot of glitches lately. So, um, that may be what the problem is. Hey, Deidre. Sorry. <laughs> Is it better or is it worse? <clears throat> Mine's in sync now. Okay, it's in sync now. Is it still not matching? It's all right, Deidre. Um, if y'all are just hopping on, I'm sorry my voice is not matching my mouth. <laughs> um, this is the little rug uh, slider thing that you go under a rug in Dollar Tree. It's, um, hey, Bobby. It is um, that rubbery stuff that you put under a rug, and I got it for a dollar, Dollar Tree, and I've already cut out the size that I want to do, <clears throat> and um, I'm going to put it in a frame, and we're going to decorate the frame uh, to go in my house, but it's I'm going to make it look like chicken wire. So I'm just kind of putting on some uh, Waverly, uh, Waverly paint. It's Elephant is the color, and I'm down to the very last drop of it in my little bottle. But it's one of my favorite colors. <clears throat> Yours is in sync, Peggy? Okay. I don't know. Like I said, you know, most of the people at Facebook are working from home, from my understanding. And so they're running it, you know, and it's lots of people are on Facebook right now because they're at home and they're just, you know, looking at Facebook and it's kind of overloading their system, I guess. So they are doing their best to try to keep it on where everybody can watch. <clears throat> oh good now lot, it's now it's in sync it's okay fine. and it may just be the internet who, who knows it's just i guess facebook they've been having a lot of glitches but they're fixing them hmm. i don't know i don't know colin looked on his and it wasn't in sync either so i'm just kind of going over this with my this elephant color why oh, is it funny <laughs> the drew said smile colin <laughs> he ain't smiling is he my He's concentrating. Hurts. Go out and come back on. Yeah, you can try getting off the video and then come right back in and see if that helps. Okay, so I'm just painting all this on, making a big mess on my paper. That's why I got paper on my table tonight. This this brown paper is wonderful. If you get, get a Dollar Tree and you do any kind of crafts, get some, get a roll of this brown paper. It's a Dollar Tree. It's a dollar roll. It's got a lot on it and. Um, I use it to cover up my table when I'm going to make something messy or if your kids or your grandkids or something paint, then it's perfect because it is, um, um, I got a big block of paint right there and it's going to take forever to You should have did a metallic paint. Chicken wire is metallic. He's telling me how to do the craft. I have ideas too. <clears throat> okay. So now I'm going to let my little fan blow on it and we can talk to everybody while it's drying. Ooh. 
Because uh, I got to paint something Diane up. says she sent you pictures. She did, Yes. I saw the little popsicles. Yes. They were so cute um, that you sent me the little popsicle sign. And I don't... Um, I don't have the actual original one I sent to a, um... Nah, nah. <laughs> What? Donna said I thought Colin was going to do the presentation tonight. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> you must have me mistaken. We'll do that tomorrow else. night and I'll make him do the crap. No. <laughs> he wants to be the MC person. No, it's not raining, dude. The sun is out. It rained all morning here and now it's real windy, and it, but it's sunny. It's cold in Ohio. I hear some people are getting snow up that way. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's May. Come on, guys. Yeah, the storm system that comes through us today is producing snow Shoot. in the northeast. No, come on. I'm just kind of smearing out some of these big blobs of paint underneath here so they'll it'll dry. It's just got to dry. But while it's drying, <clears throat> I am going to... Um, this is another color. It's called Steel. I'm just going to kind of dab on some different colors of um, snowing in Ohio. Oh, my gee. The, no. No, no, no. Snowing in Pennsylvania, too. Oh, my goodness. Gosh, guys. It's almost summer. Come on. Tell Mother Nature she's got to get with, with the program. I, I would. I couldn't function. Okay, so I'm just putting on. That's color Steel. See, that's Elephant. And then that's the Steel color. It's just a little bit lighter gray. And then um, I'm just kind of going all around and I'm just going to dab on a little bit of this lighter gray. You know, because, you know, when you see chicken wire or any kind of galvanized metal like that, it's got a little bit of variant in grays and colors. Yours went off. Bobby's hey, Bobby. Gonna... She's in Tupelo. Tupelo. Yeah, she's close to us. Tupelo's not too far. It's crazy weather. Yes, warm in California. we got people all over. Kathy, Erica Kentucky. Hodge asks, what, you're, what are you making? Um, it is a fry. You know who that is? That's David's niece. Oh, okay. Yeah. That Erica. I'm going to put, this is, um, I'm gonna, I got a frame. I'll show you right here. It's a big wood frame that I've had in my stash, okay? And it's no glass in it. And um, I'm painting this uh, rug. It's like a rug gripper, gripper thingy. I don't know what you call it. Um. To keep your rugs from sliding on the floor, it looks like this to start with. And it comes from the Dollar Tree. It's just a dollar in a little pack, and I just cut out um, what I needed to go on the to go in the frame. So I'm gonna show y'all how we're gonna do this. We're gonna make a little a little southern uh, little wall hanging for my house. We've only been in our house a year, and I got a—I have a lot of places to decorate, so I'm, um... You're going to run out of room fast as much stuff as you're making. Well, <laughs> y'all going to punch him out. You're fired. I'm going to walk out, I promise. He's fired. <laughs> I'm going to fire him. Always trying to tell me how to do the crap. Oh. Well, you have to come see us, Erica. Okay, so I'm just like dabbing on. So see y'all, it's already looking like chicken wire, if y'all can see this. So let me look under here and see what kind of hot mess I got. I'm just kind of brushing away some of the big blobs of paint so it won't stick to the back and it'll all dry. Colin, be nice, Deidre said. So that's Deidre, if y'all see Deidre on, that's that's um, my best friend that I was talking about the other night that made the, the little pineapple sign that I made, this sign right here. So don't get paint on it. This little sign that we made the other night, that was inspired by her because she made a sign that was similar. It was a lot bigger than this. And she had that pineapple. And, of course, I had to go to um, I had to go to Dollar General, and I had to have a pineapple like that. So I had to make that sign out of paint sticks. So that's paint sticks painted, and they're all glued together. And then the little pineapple on the front. We did that the, uh, what night was that? Monday night? No, Wednesday night I did that. I cannot find the lemon to match the pineapple. I, can't, I didn't find the lemon either. I guess lemons are popular. Now this is white. This is Waverly White chalk paint. <clears throat> so I'm just going to dip a little bit of white. And then I'm just going to kind of dab it on here and there. Just trying to make it look like chicken wire. I know. I love the pineapple sign too. It's turned out so cute. So when I saw my friend Deidre's that she made that was similar, um, 
Oh, pictures of my children. I have some. I just don't have them on my walls, but I have them in frames, different places. Um, so I'm just kind of dotting it on. And then I'm going to get in this gray again and kind of go over it and not make it look so white. But anyway, so Deidre made the pineapple sign, and I had to do something similar. Oh, you found a lemon yesterday, Sylvia? Nice. And I heard there's peaches, but I have not seen a peach. Somebody said there was peaches. So I don't know. I have to check it out. Oh, yes, it's in. She's talking about the keychain that I made the other night. Let's see. Where's my keychain? I haven't put on my keys yet. Here's the keychain that she's talking about, guys. That little thing we made the other night, and I made the keychain. It is so cute. Um, so, anywho. Bobby said that she found some chicken wire at Michael's. For $7.99. Um, wow. Yeah, I've seen that roll. I think I've actually walked by and he's actually scratched my arm before, actually. And I'm like, ow. Okay, so I'm just kind of dabbing all these different shades of gray and a little white. And just kind of getting it to look like chicken wire. So I think I'm done with that part. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put that in my... Now it's got to dry. You're going to do... Well, I okay. guess you're going to show the other side, so it don't huh? I guess you don't have to show the other side. No, You're not painting the other side. No, I'm not going to paint the other side. Not unless it looks bad. Then we'll paint the other side. Because it got all down in the... Right, so I haven't either, Sylvia. So this is actually the board that goes in the frame, you know, that holds the stuff in. So I am actually going to paint this. And I'm going to paint it white. And I'm going to distress it a little bit. I don't know where I saw that somebody said they had peaches. And um, somebody, I don't know if it was on here or somewhere else that I saw... Um, so I'm just putting Waverly White on my board because I'm going to paint it. Shannon Hamrick said hello. Hey, Shannon. <laughs> so I'm just painting while that's drying. And if y'all have not tried this paint, it is wonderful. Hey, Katie. Just doing a little DIY crafting tonight. Got my, my rug. Um, what do you call that thing? What are you talking about? The package is in the garbage somewhere. For what? The rug thing. What rug? For this, this whatever this is called. Rug gripper. I don't know what you call it. Is that what y'all call it? The ru a rug? Yeah, hold on. Where's Colin's paintbrush? Where's my paintbrush? I left it at home. Can't, I can't, I ain't no way I can paint this. He's supervising because he's over here telling me um, how I need to paint this. Although I let him use chalk paint for the first time last weekend and he was like painting like this. Non slip grip for rugs. So yes, sure. that's it. And so he was painting like this and I was like, honey, you gotta move fast because chalk paint dries really quickly. I'm not a professional. Well I she made acts you a like professional. I should be like loaded and ready to go when I get here. Sure. Like, this up here is already dry. And I was not aware that the paint dries faster than normal paint. It dries pretty fast. Pretty fast. Y'all talk about Maybe me hating on her. her. She hates on me just because I, I hate, hate on me. her. Y'all don't see what happens behind the, after the camera stops rolling. She gets on to me. Skid proof mat. Skid proof mat. There you go. I just couldn't think of what that the word like was. Good, that's a good name for it. So that's what it is. It's from the Dollar Tree. How did his girlfriend's dad like the paint? Oh, he loved it. He, it was awesome. It was a good birthday present. So he, he's a really big Miami fan. So he, he really, really enjoyed it when I gave it to him. So Now Colin's going to be a really big Miami fan too because, what's his name? Tua. Tua from Alabama is gone to the Miami Dolphins. Got my, <laughs> my jersey ordered already. Look, I can run out of room. Run out of room. Well, who's that? Alabama's quarterback going to be now? Mac Jones. Where's he from? You know, I'm not 100% sure. Now, well, you should know these things if you're a I diehard. Know. I know. Diehard fan. I hope we have college football. That'll just be terrible. Maybe, Maybe mom, mom will make some, some wall. She needs to. I I need to. I told him I was going to design an Alabama sign. My living place, whenever I'm is going to be real bare. I'm gonna have to have some. Well, it's gotta be manly. I don't know if I can make manly stuff. You can do a manly craft too. Jason Noel was on here earlier. You gotta appeal to the men too sometimes. Okay. 
Well, this has got chicken wire in it, and can't that be manly? <laughs> it's a mama thing. It's a mama thing. What? She said, oh, but Colin is a mama's, can hate on you, but still love you to the moon and back. It's a mama thing. Yeah. Who said that? But I can't do that Kathy. in return? You go, Kathy. That's right. He does. But that's how we love each other, because we, uh, we go back and forth. So, that's just how it is. But he's a good kid, though. I can't, I couldn't ask for better. Now, if we can get Chase to come on here. He ain't gonna do that. He won't come out of his bat cave up there. <laughs> his bat cave. He's 14 and he plays that Fortnite and. Hey, Billy. All that stuff. <clears throat> you have three sons, Kathy. Wow. Well, I have two of my own and I have two stepsons. Hey, Jimmy Faye. Yes, Deidre, two peas in the pod. Sometimes. We can be at each other's throat, too. <laughs> yeah. But who's your biggest fan? Me. Okay. I'm going to let that dry. So I have to tell y'all a story. Hey, Tanya. I have to tell y'all a story. So Deidre's on here. So Because the other night she wasn't on, and I talked all about her, and I said, Oh, gosh, you got to go watch with the pineapple sign. Y'all can see it. It's right there. And, uh, because she inspired me to make that. And so, I was saying, once I saw hers, I was like, oh my gosh, I gotta, I gotta make that. I gotta have that. So, um, back when Deidre's mother was alive, um, she used to tell Deidre all the time, well, if Lee has it, then you have to have it. And Deidre's like, yep. And she goes, if Lee went out and bought a two-headed orangutan, then you would have to buy one too. And Deidre's like, yep. So her mom's passed now. My mom's passed now. So we um, we kid all the time about, about a two-headed orangutan. I'm still looking for a two-headed orangutan, and I haven't found one yet. So I guess I'm going to have to draw one or something because her mom used to say that all the time. And now that's her, her and my thing is a two-headed orangutan. But if I get one, i got to get her one too. So. Trust me, I run De I run Deidre supplies to and from. She does. I feel like she does. I'm, I'm running stuff across the border. <laughs> I have to take it back with me when I leave here, yeah. all the way back to Meridian, and then meet Deidre with it. And then Deidre gives mom something, and I have to bring it to mom, and it, it's a big ordeal. He is. Nine times. It pays good though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess. It pays good. Yep. It pays with love. Hey, Miss hey, Tommy. Cassidy. Um, my grandson's name is Chase, and he is 16, and he's six foot six. Oh my goodness! Well, my Chase is 14. Hey, Lori. Mama should have fed me something like that, make me go like that, big old boy. Oh, Lord no. have mercy. All right, I'm gonna move this and let this dry. And let's see how my my chicken wire is doing. See, there's my chicken wire. Do y'all see it? It's not mm -hmm. really chicken wire. It started out like this. If you're just hopping on. Yes, and I do have a package on hold for you right now. It's in my back seat of my truck. Yep. I've been so busy this week with work and everything, I really haven't had time to get in touch with you. So, <laughs> so this is a non-slip non rug thing that you put under your rug at the, and they sell it at Dollar Tree. It's a dollar. It's a big piece. I don't even know. I didn't even look at the pack to see how big it is. But it's pretty big, and I've already cut out that square out of it, Okay. So then I took um, my Waverly paint and I painted it gray and then I kind of splotched it all around with lighter gray and a little white and it's dry. So now I'm waiting for my backing to dry. Somebody said cheese. Gun? Deidre said cheese cloth. It's not cheese yes, cloth. Your hot gun it's is this red. rubbery stuff. It looks like the, what was that um, stuff we used to do when we were kids? The what was the latch hook? Y'all know what latch hook is? It kind of looks like that stuff. Y'all remember when we used to do latch hook when we were kids? I hope that's not going to get on my... I think that's dry. Yeah, it's dry. Okay. Um, don't burn me. <laughs> okay, so here's my frame, guys. I've had this in my stash for a while. I don't even know where I got it. Like, Goodwill. Who knows? So, it's just, just frame. And so, now, I don't know if I should glue it. I think I should glue it to the board. See, the other side looks like that. 
So I'm thinking I should glue it to You'll the You'll be able to see board. it better when you put it on the white. Yeah. Because the video, it doesn't really, I mean, it, kinda, it doesn't really give a good representation. So I think I'm going to um, actually glue it to that. I don't think I'm going to glue it here. Because I can get it tight if I put it on the board. Yeah. Don't you think? For sure. All right. When this dries, the fan's pointing the wrong direction. When that dries, hey, Suzanne. Skid proof mat. Thank you, Kathy. Keep keep me keep me abreast. I like how everybody's debating like what it's called. Rug, everybody ripper, was, slip, every, uh, whatever it's called. Non slip rug, non skid rug, and the then mesh. Deidre comes in with cheese cloth. Where do you get cheese, cheese cloth, cloth from? <laughs> I use I that like mesh under cheese. cutting boards to keep them from sliding. That's a good idea, Wendy. That is a good, real good idea. Um, but this is what it is. It's rug grippers, non slip, skid proof, whatever it is. Your haircut looks good. Thank you. Finally, and he shaved all that stuff. I did, I did, it's all gone. So I'm waiting for this it's to dry. Gone. It's almost dry. I need to get my husband's glue gun. He needs to donate it to us. What happens here when we leave coffee and it dries so fast? It's thick. I put it on kind of thick. I received Arson. my Hello Summer Project and it's so cute. Can't wait to finish it. Pam, I can't wait to see it. Please send me pictures when you get it. She's talking about, I have little wood cutouts in my store. If you know what she's talking about, the little uh, Hello Summer. I actually had one and I gave it to a viewer and uh, who, uh, who who sprinkled my video. Um, but I have a shop and it's, uh, if you go to the turquoisevalentine.com and um, there's a little place that says shop and you go to shop and it'll take you and I have little wood cutouts that you can buy and I'll cut them out on my laser and I'll ship it to you, and you can paint them and finish them out yourself. So um, there's little, lots of goodies on there. So when we get off, y'all can go check it out. Um, Non-slip non gripper. We're yes. gonna get to the bottom of this. We are. At some point in time, the we're package, gonna figure out what it's called. The package is in the garbage. Over we here. just need to make. Mom just needs to make a poll, okay? And we're gonna take comments that you guys have had. And we're going to let you all vote on it to see what the name of this stuff is so we can get to the well, bottom of this. Because this is going to bother me all night long. The package is in the garbage and I can't find it. My garbage can is so full. I'll dig that. Cake taker and your cake will not... Oh, okay. that's pretty nice. That's neat to know. Got my Hello Summer Day. Yay! What are you looking for? I'm it's in dig, the garbage. It's, it's the not very far down there. It's, it's not very far? Uh -uh. The so as soon as this dries, guys, I'm going to put this together. Thank you, Kim, for ordering. It is really cute, and I will show y'all what it looks like, but I actually sent it to a viewer who sprinkled my video. So um, if y'all sprinkle my video tonight, I'm going to send somebody this. You know, I got this at Hobby Lobby the other day, and I, if y'all sprinkle, I'm going to send this to somebody at random, okay? So sprinkle, 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 and I'll send that out, and should the mail will pick somebody at random, and I will um, send you some happy mail. Did you put it in the bag, y'all? No. I don't know. There's a Dollar Tree bag. Well, there's, there's a bunch of Dollar Tree bags in there. Tell yeah, Colin yeah. I wish Randy was here to come watch him. Oh, uh, where's Mr. Randy? Who is that? Suzanne Freeman. Oh. Yeah, Mr. Randy's my buddy. Yes. Hey, Jennifer from Louisiana. Hey, Christy. That little bag is cute. It is. It is like a little coin purse. And look at the pom-poms on it. Is it not the cutest thing ever? I think it's so cute. Look, it's like a little zipper pouch thing. So y'all sprinkle, sprinkle, and we're going to pick somebody. Thank you, Linda. Okay, this is almost dry. Gosh, I painted it way too fishing. Tell fishing. Him he, tell him he needs to get to work. <laughs> Thank you, Kim, for sprinkling. So what are y'all guys doing tonight? Since we've told y'all about what we're doing, what are y'all doing? Well, I, hey, was Linda. I was looking through the trash. Thank you, Janet, for sprinkling. Trying to get to the bottom of our uh, I know. material. Here. Okay, this has got to dry. I got to have a heat gun. Craig, if you're watching, I need a heat gun. Not right now. We just our Hobby discussion. Lobby is not open yet. Deborah, I know. I'm so sorry. Thank you, Shirley, for sprinkling. Do you follow college basketball? Kathy, a little bit. I, I'm really. I, I like to watch basketball when it gets down to like the nitty gritty. And it's either A, March Madness, or the NBA playoffs. Oh, Kaylee, you have an Etsy store. But oh. I do I do like basketball. I used to play basketball. Thank you. Is it Lene? Was I good Lene? At it? No, I was not good. Hobie is frying bacon. Sharice, bacon is good with everything. Bacon, bacon. Absolutely. You can put bacon on anything. Watching you and Colin. Oh. <laughs> Making masks for my family and my sister's family. Awesome, Kathy. Thank you. Did you hear my tip the other night about I was telling y'all if you can't get fabric, because like our whole 
Our whole Walmart is like wiped out of fabric. So if you can't get any fabric to go to um, get the sheet, like a flat sheet at Walmart, they're pretty inexpensive, and they'll you can get a lot of mask out of you know if you double layer them, you can get a lot of mask out of one sheet. Mm. Strawberry cobbler. Oh, oh girl, my Lord. you need to send some my direction. The strawberry, strawberry is my favorite fruit. Ugh. That sounds strawberry really delicious. Cobbler. I don't guess I've had a strawberry cobbler. Any you favorite? Oh. Oh, dude, I used to love working for Mr. Randy. Can I used to love Wednesdays when we got on that trash. I can. I can post a link when I'm done. Or you can, um, Joanne, if you'll, when we get off, if you'll go to my page and it'll say shop, and you can click that, and it should take you to that on my Facebook page. Oh, Hallmark yeah. movies. Are they doing Christmas oh. still? <laughs> Size. Comfort, comfort, grip. comfort grip cushion rug pad. Okay. okay. Thank you, Sylvia. I like that. See, Keeps I, you from sliding across the floor on a magic carpet. I have a little bit. So of... that's what this is, guys. That's what I'm doing. I took this rug, slip, non-grip, comfort, no slip, whatever it is, from Dollar Ooh, Tree. Cheesecake. And, yay, mm. cheesecake. And Y'all I painted it. <laughs> I know, right? And I painted it like a gray. I just kind of mingled in a bunch of gray. And now I'm waiting for my board to dry. It's taking forever. I painted it too thick. All right, here. Kim Webb says, hey, Hold it's that. called non-slip yep. rug underlay. I had some in my stash. Thank you. Okay. I'm so now you now. know what to do with it, right? Here's you an idea. Okay, so my, my white board is dry. And y'all might not be able to see this good on the camera. But when I show the picture afterwards, you'll see. But it looks just like that chicken wire, that square chicken wire. It does. It does. It looks just like it. So I, it was this color, and I painted it with different grays and a little white, and it looks just like chicken wire. So now it I'm gonna. It kind of looks like graphing paper on the on the on the on screen. The, yeah, on the screen you probably can't tell. Hey, Joanne from Kentucky. I'll turn my fan off now. I'm done with that. Hey, Beth. Yeah, it was getting annoying. So I'm just gonna put a little glue. Down the sides. Let me get my little. See, Donna agrees with me. Hi, Miss Beth. What? Um. Yeah, Miss Beth's watching. It does. Look agrees with you with what? Oh, that, thank that, you, that Susanna. Like so my niece just posted the link to my shop. If you want to go and look, um, or you can click back, click on it later and go look. Um, I have a laser cutting machine that cuts out wood and acrylic. Hadn't tried the acrylic yet, but my husband is is itching to try it. So I'm just putting glue around the edges and I'm gonna stick down my did y'all show did you show everybody his bowl that he made that he said? I, I showed the bowl. I showed the bowl. The bowl's uh, really cool. The other night, yeah. Did okay. you show it to him since he stained it? At least yes, really good. I did. I think I did. I think I showed him. It's Craig's fruit bowl. He's excited about his I don't fruit. know what else he would put in it other okay. than fruit. I wanted to back on work on Monday. I work at Google. Oh, I can't wait, Jackie, for ours to open. I'm all about some Goodwill now. We have good, real good Goodwills up here. I'm in North Mississippi. Hey, Colin. All right. So I'm just kind of trying to pull it tight a little bit before I do the other side. But it looks just like chicken wire. Thank goodness, yes. I would, our governor announced today that they're yeah, opening... I don't, he hasn't put he anything put in anything. the bowl in the, yet. He's just showing it to people right now. Hey, Stephanie. He more or less did it just to play around. Yeah, he wanted to see if he could do it. it basically, it was a flat piece of wood, and it cut a spiral, like got bigger and bigger. And then when you pick it up, it, it opens up into a bowl, and it has little legs, and it stands up. It's really cool. He'll, he'll open that door in a minute, and he'll have it in his hand. Watch. <laughs> Because he's watching. Yeah, but he walked over to Greg's early. Oh, did he? Mm -hmm. Oh, he's probably... He's over there. He'll come running talking. over here in a minute. So our governor just announced that they're opening up the hair salons and stuff Monday. woo -hoo! We're excited. But I, I don't know if it's too early or not. I know that a lot of people um, are still on lockdown. Your good mother's never closed. I live in Columbus. Oh, okay. Wow, they never closed. Ours did. Ours closed like right early. Hmm. Okay, so now I've got that rug stuff, whatever it's called, all glued to the board that goes into my frame. I was calling Phil about the lavender toilet paper. Oh gosh, I had to I'm confused on the subject. I bought toilet paper at Dollar General, and I got home and I put it in that bathroom right there, and I 
it's underneath the, the sink. And I went in there and I was like, what is that smell? And I noticed the toilet paper is lavender scented. And I was like, oh my gosh. So it's underneath, the whole bathroom smelled like lavender. I was like, I didn't know they had lavender scented toilet paper. Never heard of such. What are the noms on the top shelf made from? They are made from clay, um, Peggy. I made those myself. Um, I am, hey, Brother Joe. <laughs> I am actually uh, going to do a live on those one night. They're made out of clay. Um, my friend Kelly that's on, too, she's made some. She's still got to come paint hers. But I'm going to try to show you all how to make those gnomes one night. Phase one of opening. Phase one. Okay, well, we've already had phase one, right? So now we're on. I'm not sure. I don't, I don't know if they're in phases or he's just. Talk Doing a little it. at a time. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to turn it over. I'm going to put it into my frame. Hopefully. I know. This little thing is getting Back in where I live in Meridian, Mississippi, they, uh, they're they starting to open up restaurants again, like sit down. So I know that you can have 50% capacity right now, and you can't have parties over six right now, but you can go and eat at restaurants now. Back where I live. In central, like central eastern Mississippi. Yeah. Okay. So I got it in my frame. Look. Hey, Carol. Hey, Carol. Okay. So y'all will be able to see this better once I post a picture. But um, um, if you're. I'm see you this weekend for this COVID coming. Um, up. if you are wondering what I'm doing, this is that non-grip slip rug gripper stuff, um, from Dollar Tree, and I painted it. I cut it to fit my frame, and I've painted it with gray, different grays, and chalk paint and such. And let it dry and then I put it into my frame just like that so it looks like chicken wire it doesn't look like chicken wire it does look like chicken it looks wire. just like chicken wire see but on the picture when I post it afterwards you'll be able to see it a whole lot better than you can on the camera um, but it looks really good so who was that a minute ago said they had some in their stash I said now nah, that's what you can do with that so there's my frame. I just had the frame in my stash at Goodwill somewhere it came from. I don't know. Okay, so now we're going to make it all pretty. Um, and I'm going to go a little southern on y'all tonight. And we're going to use some cotton. Cotton, cotton. Hey, Amanda. I'm ready when you are. Okay, so I got some cotton stems. Jason asked if I wanted to go fishing. I saw. I hey, Bill. I want to go fishing right now. Okay. Well, you can, but you up here seeing your mama, and you can't go fishing. So I'm just, I just took the stem. Now, I got this. Uh, I know Hobby Lobby sells winter, it. Winter, winter chicken. And um, um, I got this at a place that's local, and I've had it in my stash for a while. It's a place called House to Home, and they have all these flowers and ribbons and all the m mesh and all the stuff that goes with it. So I got it there, but I know Hobby Lobby sells the cotton. Um, who else? I think Michaels has it too. Joanne's probably has it. Um, but here in chicken Mississippi, wire, you we... Can't beat it. You really can't beat it. What? Chicken wire. This? No, well, she's uh, talking about actual chicken I wire. I can chicken wire. Pennsylvania's starting to reopen. I got some on clearance at Hobby Lobby this week. Oh, cool. You got some cotton. There you go. Here, so so we like cotton down here in the South, but... Wow. Um, you could four. You could do whatever, um flowers that you wanted you could do whatever you're choosing okay um you're just hopping on that's a rug gripper slipper non-slip thing i painted and put it in my frame and um yeah janet dollar tree has cotton every once in a while i'll see it but not often but it's just a little cotton bowl and i'm just kind of bending it to kind of go on my frame did you what? paint this frame no I, I got it from goodwill or somewhere you it's just it like in that? the closet yeah okay it's cute though, isn't it? But you could use you could use any frame. You could do um, if you have a canvas, you could take the canvas part off and use the wood part, and you know paint your paint your wood frame of the canvas, and get you a rug rug non slip thing. <laughs> Bill said he wants to go fishing too. I'm ready. <laughs> All right. Well, you got to start driving if you're going to Bill's house. Okay. So, but you could use any florals that you wanted to do this if you to match your decor. My house is kind of grays and whites and blacks and browns and stuff. So, um, I'm doing that. And I have some lamb's ear. This came from Walmart and it comes like two stems for $2 or something like that. So, I'm going to mix some of that in with it and I'm just going to 
try to get it all fixed before I glue it on my frame. Gotta give that cotton a little something to... Now this stem, I don't know where it came from. I've had, it's just in my stash, but they have it at Hobby Lobby. They have it at um, um, Walmart. Free cotton anytime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, it's not illegal if they don't see it. They, um, people make a lot of pretty pictures in the cotton fields too. It's really pretty. Now I'm just taking my, my dull wire cutters. I gotta get a new pair. And I'm just trying to put some stuff under my cotton and make it look all pretty. But like I said, you could use any florals that you wanted. You could, um, you could do whatever. So don't just limit yourself to this. This is just what's gonna match my house because I have some cotton. Hey, Anita, how are you? Hey, Miss Anita. I'm trying to cut it and I'm making awful faces. Okay. <laughs> and then. Davis, are we ready? We're going to try tomorrow. Susanna, are y'all fishing in the Gulf like or are y'all fishing? Deep sea fishing? No, probably not deep sea fishing. So. Are y'all fishing in like a pond or something? All right. But guys, if you're sprinkling. I'm going to give this away to this random person that sprinkles this a little coin pouch. Isn't it cute? I got it at Hobby Lobby the other day with a little pom-pom on it. So sprinkle, sprinkle, and I'm going to go through all the people who sprinkled and pick a random person. Need to, need to give it a something, something. 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 Yeah, some, I'm going to add a something, something in a minute. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. That's funny that I always say that, and then now it's like a... My little uh, slogan or my little... Um, cotton chicken wire is a perfect match. Absolutely. Cotton chicken wire and lamb's ear is awesome. I love lamb's ear. It just has that soft kind of textured look to it. And it's, you know, it's not so harsh and green. Howdy, Karen. This is Karen. First time watching. Oh, Karen. Well, welcome. Glad you're here. Glad you Central are here. Pennsylvania. Okay. So now I'm just trying to get all this arranged because it's like a hot mess. On here can y'all see what I got so far without it sliding off okay now how am I gonna get all this on here with the glue gorilla glue when about glue it to it we're gonna glue Colin's bumper on his truck later no, I'm kidding okay so I'm gonna bend this down so I'm just taking them and bending them to match the frame and I'm going to just start gluing them down you really need thank a you Charlie you really need a staple gun you can just pop Pow, 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 and they would stick. I, don't, I have one, but I don't know where it is. It's out in the shop somewhere. <laughs> Thank you, Julie, for sprinkling. I had a big field of cotton in front of my house on our farm this past fall. Should have grabbed some. Absolutely. It'll come out again. You can get some. I mean, this is... Get that bumper glue out. Right. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Carol, I really think it would, it would glue a bumper down. I really do think so. Okay. Let me put that down while I'm holding that. Your catchphrase. I know. My catchphrase. She needs to make t-shirts. I've, I've to. already said this one time. She needs to make t-shirts. I know. It's hard to do all the then things. Then I would have something to wear. be like my uniform. <laughs> yep. So, so soon, pretty soon, guys, I'm going to go jump back into the Apple land because I am on a Samsung. And I'm going to get an Apple iPhone so y'all won't see me backwards anymore. And plus, when he moves to Dallas, I can FaceTime him. So there's a, a double reason of why I need to get an iPhone. She's crossing over to the dark side. I was on the dark side at one time, and I went to Samsung. She should have never been I to love Samsung. Samsung. I'm sorry. I just do. Look, people are dropping off. They probably don't like me saying I like Samsung. But I like Apple, too. I have an iPad. I love it. So, um, yes, I love Peggy. I love the lamb's ear with the cotton. Sorry, guys. My glue, you know, when I get it real thick, it takes a minute to set up. So I'm trying to hold it all down. Just going to put a big old glob of it down here. Trying really hard not to burn myself. <laughs> not burn myself. It's hot. Hot, mama, hot. Liking the haircut, Kyle. I'm looking handsome. Thank you so much. Okay. Just gonna get out my little thingamabobbers. bobbers. See, I, for all you oh, iPhone people out here, I've been trying to tell her for it years. It does look to cute, man. It does, and I think it does. It's gonna turn out cute. I was hoping it would anyway. I switched once, and I took it back after three days. I love Samsung. I'm sorry, I just do. But I, I mean, I had an iPhone back, you know, a few years ago, and then I went to Samsung. 
because I can put a little chip in the side of my Samsung and I can have as much memory as I want to. Then I can put the chip out, I can put it in my computer and just get all my my pictures off of them and all that. And they don't limit me on what I can have. That's why I like it. But I can pay I'm an Android girl all the way. Yes, Jennifer, I am too. And that is going to be a blister right there. Yeah, that looks like it. That's a doozy. Yeah, don't do what I just did. It hurt. But for 99 cents a month, you can get iCloud storage. Okay. And, and so and so listen, let me, And when the listen, Russians listen, wanna listen. I, wanna hack your hack the iCloud, what are you gonna do then? And Samsung doesn't have anything that you can back I don't use all their stuff though. I have my little chip. Hmm. Yeah. We're finna start an argument right here on stream. Y'all finna see the real colors come out. No. <laughs> We've had this discussion a hundred times. A Look, cipher. you just gonna burn yourself. I'm telling y'all, that's gonna be a blister on my finger. Woo, that hurt. Yes, Kathy, it hurt. I've burned myself before, and um, yeah, had to have a little minor surgery on it. <laughs> it wasn't fun. Mm-hmm. I feel that blister coming. Mm. So for the casual, we walk com- that's one thing we don't have in common, Carol. Yes, but I'm going back to the iPhone. So soon y'all will be all, and then when y'all see me and everything's going to be reversed, you're going to be like, oh my gosh, everything's backwards. <laughs> like my picture's on my computer and I have iPhone. Yeah, I, you can do iTunes. Yeah, I know you can do all that, but I just, um, I like my Samsung. On my sewing machine. Go, oh, goodness gracious. Oh, Kathy, don't do that. That's I've done that awful. too. I've sewed my finger. I mean, that that is throbbing. It's going to be, look at it, it's going to be a blister. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. Yeah. All right, so, but we must go on. Oh, I can only imagine stabbing myself with a sewing machine. I'm you know. just doing all these 10,000 layers of flowers. Look at all the glue. I'll probably hang it on the wall and they'll fall off. Let's hope not. You're going to have to make a new apron. Yeah, she's going to have to have a new yep. apron and a new share sign. Or... I'll probably do the, uh, oh. just do it on the other side. You said share. I said the word. Sprinkle sign. Yeah, he said that word. This sign. Yeah, I'll put some ice on it. Because it's actually... Backwards. That's actually back for backwards in real life, and so is my apron. So I have to do the other side. Yeah, I need ice. Put ice on it. Put ice on it. Oh, Lord. Eh, It'll be okay. Casualties. Just a crafting. casualty. No, just a mild casualty. Hey, Andrea. Yes, Andrea. We. He's trying to knock me out, guys. Did you see that? I'm slowly sabotaging the Facebook live. Just leave it on the floor. All right. I'm it's cold. Okay. It back up. I swear I'm almost through with this. Then we're gonna then we're gonna do a little bow. I probably shouldn't have glued all this down. Look, see, see the people love it. They're liking it. <laughs> Y'all should just be here, be a fly on the wall. Cause it is it is really funny. I'm probably using a whole glue stick on this. You're about out now. Colin, go get her some ice. I can't leave yet. Ha ha ha, way to go. Look, they're laughing at you. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, yeah, another one bites the dust. My heart probably broke in half. Colin was feeling sorry for his mom. It's down there. (laughs) Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Y'all missed it today when I fell. Actually, I fell going up the the stairs. stairs. I run up the stairs and fell. I got about four, four stairs up and I fell down the stairs. And she didn't even offer to help me. I said, are you okay? You so, are real fine? So, I mean, it kind of equals out here. I have to stay on the stream. This is better be than here. the fly on the wall, yes. But he did. He went running through the living room to tell his brother something. And I, and I knew it was coming. <laughs> I knew it was coming. This isn't the first incident. Two, two, two steps into it. I was like, well, they have wood stairs, and they're they're solid they're wood, and they're steep, and they are very slippery, and you will bust your rear end in a heartbeat. I'm yep. telling you what. My girlfriend's fell down them. Yep. I fell down them. Where's Paige? Is she on? The dogs have fell down them. I don't think she's on. Everybody's falling down these stairs. Yeah, the so. dog. We have a, we have a Yorkie, and she was up at the top, and we don't let the dogs go upstairs, but she was at the top, and she decided, you know, it was she was going back See, downstairs. She says she falls up the stairs all the time. Up the stairs. It's that's, a commonality. That's a, yeah. It's talent. Talent to fall up the stairs. <laughs> then I must be really talented. <laughs> but they're wood, and they're slick, I guess, and then, I need to put something down here. 
So our little Yorkie was at the very top, and it's probably about what fifteen. I mean, it's stairs? probably about it's a fifteen lot. to twenty sets of sets of stairs there. The stairs, and so um, <laughs> our little Yorkie was at the top. And she took two steps going down, and she went. Um, she just literally rolled all the way down like a little fur ball down the stairs and there's like you go down the stairs and then there's a wall she hit the wall and got up and was like and then she was fine you know I need some of that skid proof stuff on there too <laughs> yes I need skid I need non skid socks is what I need but yeah the little ones with the grippers on the bottom yeah <laughs> happens at our house too Yes, those stairs are really steep. They are steep. I, I can remember those stairs very well. Julie, that's on here. She lives in my house, that the house that I, I grew up in, that my my parents built. All right, I'm hoping this is all going to stay. I'm telling y'all, look at that. Oh, yeah, it's, it's rising it's a up. It's blister. All right, guys, so that's what I have so far. Maybe it won't flop off the front. Isn't that just so cute? I think it's really, really cute. Okay. Should you do it as the bottom corner or the top corner? Hold it upright. I can't even see. I like big. the top corner. That's just my personal. I don't know. Opinion. I'm gonna put a bow. I'm gonna put a bow up here like this, right here. I'm gonna put a bow on it. She almost burned her chin waving that glue going all around. Yeah, and she oh, talked about me trying see? to burn her. I don't know if y'all can see it, but I don't think you it's can. gonna be a blister. Oh. Okay, so now, but you know, just a oh, casualty. You're getting some hearts there. Okay, you can use hot glue to make like dots that. on the bottom of your socks. <laughs> Yes. Okay. There we go. There's there's the million dollar invention of the night. That'll be the live tomorrow night. We'll be putting little dots on Colin's socks so he won't um, slip down. Where we can go buy some Dollar Tree socks on my Nike socks. Yep. Okay. So I'm just gonna. I got a bunch of ribbon laying out here, and I'm gonna make a bow. Thank you for sprinkling. So I am going to. You know, I'm gonna make the refab bow. I'm not gonna. Try to attempt to make a bow because I do not make bows. Yes, Karen, it hurts. But it's, it'll be okay. Just use that leftover row of grippy stuff and glue it to the bottom of his socks. <gasps> That's a good idea. How funny is that? It's Watch funny. <laughs> yeah. Everybody's it's really that, funny. That I can't walk. You can't walk. I look, I look like a newborn calf walking up them steps earlier, or running, excuse me. And I got the old. <laughs> that wasn't, this is not the first time that he is. Uh, Fell on those stairs, I promise. My girlfriend You fell. shot my garbage can and stuff's going on the top of the garbage can. Here, I'll go open it. No, it's fine, it's fine. My it's girlfriend good. fell down on the about probably, what, a month or so ago? Yeah. Maybe two months ago. It was and before she, the COVID. She fell down the steps and hit the wall. There's Because you come down the steps Kinda and like my you immediately did. fall into the wall. And she fell and she hit smack dab on the wall. And then she cried and everything. And it was, it was a bad one. Bit her thumb backwards. But I, I couldn't help but laugh. I'm a terrible person. But I will say, when we first moved here a year ago, I fell. I missed the bottom step. Hey, Newman. I missed the bottom step. And you did that the last time. Yep. And you thought there was another step. And I missed the bottom step and I fell too, so... I can't say. If you have vitamin E at home, pop the vitamin, open it up and rub it on there, put a Band-Aid over it, and it helps it heal faster. Okay. <laughs> Good deal. Too. I think I have some, actually. Okay. So I'm just cutting this ribbon. I didn't cut it ahead of time. I guess I should have. Um, I'm just cutting. This is some Hobby Lobby. That's one of my favorites. It's burlap, and it's got the... Um, Buffalo check on the sides. I'm just kind of doing a little black and white. And then I got buffalo check gray. Isn't that really cute? Do you have vitamin E? I'm going to have to try the vitamin E. I, don't, I think I have some. I've heard about putting uh, egg whites on it. Egg whites? Has everyone fallen? What the heck? Yeah, I think so. At one point or another, everybody's fallen. Yeah, the whole family. <laughs> the dog, much. the kids, we've all, and me. I don't think Craig's falling down the stairs, though. Well, he, he took a tumble the other night. <laughs> oh, God. I'm not telling it because, you, you, yeah, you'll... Give me that. Can you give me all that? I can't reach the other side of my table. There's that. I'm injured. Help me. Okay. I just got all this random ribbon. Like, this is from Michael's. And it was not... I always check the clearance section, guys. This is 99 cents. And it's just this white, wrinkly looking stuff. See, Carol, see, Carol knows what's up. It does make for great inter entertainment. It People does. like pain. It does. Colin and I were laughing a while ago. We were watching uh, Lizzie and Aaron. And Lizzie, 
God bless her. She was telling a story about her taking out the shower curtain when she was getting out of the shower and she bent the rod and everything. And she was just a laughing and Colin got to laughing and it was so funny. I, she so got crazy. so tickled. Oh, she I have an aloe vera breathe. plant, Linda. I'm going to put that on it. I'll do that too. Oh, okay. Do I have all my ribbon? Just all of it? Let's see. What else can I put? Some buffalo check. Aloe vera gel. I have some for you. Oh, I think I have an aloe vera plant. Maybe I need to do that. And my ankle cracked. Oh, those stairs hate oh, me. Oh my gosh. It must run in the family, Suzanne. Hmm. <laughs> Well, if you have stairs in your home, more than likely you've probably rolled down on a time or two. <laughs> Lizzie is so funny. Yes, I died laughing. Sylvia, did you hear her tell the story earlier? She got so tickled, she was winded. She couldn't even, she couldn't even talk. She was laughing so hard. And then he was laughing. And I wasn't even watching the video. I got all I could hear was hearing her laugh that she and knocked then, down the shower curtain and the shower rod with her butt crack. With her butt and all this and oh my gosh. And having to explain it. Fell on a live once. It was so funny. Who did? Lizzie. That's what oh, yeah. said. She did fall down. I, I didn't see that one, I don't think. But she was talking about that live actually earlier and saying that she fell down and during a live video and <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were meaning Carol fell down. I was like, yeah, no. Please tell me she did. Yes, I was laughing so hard. Yeah, you're not gonna tell Craig's story about him falling down. I mean that that was that was just on him. He just got up too quick. He got up in the floor. We have concrete floors, and it was slick. They're, they're stained concrete floors, and they're sealed with like a sealer to make it shiny. And he got up, and he had his socks on, or no, he had his flip flops on, and he got caught up under his flip flops, and he fell. Backwards. And I watched it all happen. He slid up into the fireplace and, yeah. Mm -hmm. Knocked all kind of stuff down. A, a lantern. He knocked a glass lantern over. None, nothing break. That no no craft was harmed in this incident. Everything was safe. Craig's elbow. I was trying to watch. Is like solid black right now. Yeah, it's all like blue under here. And it's been a week ago. I'm like, honey, what in the world? I saw it in slow motion. Carol, don't say that, girl. You'll be done fail now. You, you just you better, you better knock yep. on some wood. I'll knock on it for you. Yep, there you go, Carol. You're going to fall down next week. When you do your... Luckily, yours is over for tonight. And you're not going to fall down. Okay, so I'm just stacking up my little X pattern like Brooke does on the refab bow like that. And um, I think I've got enough. I think I need to put some of this in it. Look, should I put that in it? I think you about done there. You got a lot going on there. Yeah, but when you start fluffing it out, I got this at Hobby Lobby too for a dollar twenty-four. Look at that. I've had it though. Uh, about a eight while. steps and hit a base at the bottom of the stairs. Got twenty staples. I think hey, I got lucky. That? <laughs> uh, that was Karen Anderson. That oh sounds. Gosh. Horrific. Cute. Love it. Thank you, Jennifer Donna. says, I fell down my stairs a couple years ago. Hit every step on the way down. Fractured my hip and bruised horribly. I have a permanent bump on my bum now, front, and they oh, were, and they were carpeted. Gosh. I hate to see how things would have turned out if they weren't carpeted. But I didn't go head first, or I don't think I'd be here I to tell you. if I can hear you, and then they can read it. That is terrible. <laughs> That's terrible, yes. I'm they glad say you're that, okay. that most emergency room visits come from people falling down. But you can ask him. You give me some videos on YouTube or something with a whole compilation of people falling down. I can't handle myself. I mean, it's hilarious. I cannot them. handle myself. I will just die laughing. At, at, I know it's not funny because they probably hurt themselves really bad, but I can't, I can't stand it. Uh, I'll just die. Hey, Denise. Okay, guys. I know y'all are kind of... You using this? No, it goes on one of my ribbon rolls. And in case y'all hadn't seen my little tip, let me see it. Did you try to pop me with it? <laughs> I take ponytail holders. Maybe. And my ribbon rolls like this. Sometimes I'll put a straight pin in them. But I have a whole bunch of hair ties I get from Dollar Tree. And then I just do it like that. And then that way it don't it doesn't come un, unwound and go everywhere. Some flour times refrigerator. Small. Container handy to stick your fingers in when you get burned. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to. I'm telling you, I'm gonna have a blister. But it'll be okay. 
Won't be the first time, probably not the last, I'm sure. Okay, so now I got all my ribbon stacked up in my little pile like that. And I'm gonna lay it down on my, I use twist, I use the little zip ties. I, you can get them for a, a pack at the Dollar Tree, for 60 of them for a whole dollar. And then I'm just going to zip tie it all together. <laughs> Thank you, Denise. You're fine, Chris. Um, what I did, if you're just hopping on, I took this uh, rug, gripper, non-slip, grip, mat stuff. It's from the Dollar Tree. comes in just a little pack, and you put it on your rugs to keep from slipping. And I painted it, uh, cut out my piece, and painted it with a bunch of different gray paint and a little bit of white, and made it look like chicken wire. And so, see, when you do this with the zip tie, you can get it super, super tight. And that's what, uh, Denise said, hey. And that's hey, what um, helps it all get all fluffed out. Is getting it really tight. And then you just, I just take my little square part and then I just kind of turn it to where you can't see it from the front. Straight pins. I do too. Um, I use straight pins too. I, that's what I have on some of my rolls. I have straight pins in them. Um, but sometimes, and y'all know what I'm talking about, you lay that straight pin down, and then you go back to look for it, and you're like, oh, Lord Jesus, where is it? I'm going to step on it the minute I get up. And so it kind of freaks me out sometimes. But, yes, I use straight pins on some things. Like little bitty rolls like this, I'll use a straight pin or a piece of tape. Okay. So now I'm just fluffing it all out so you can see all the different layers. Y'all know I had to put a, one of these bows on it because I can't make a bow, guys. I can't do it. Thank God for Brooke and her refab bow because that's all I can do. Maybe I didn't make it big enough, you think? I have to make it bigger. I have to put some more layers under the back. I'm just kind of trying to get it all out. And wired ribbon works real well for this bow because it kind of gives it a little body. But some of, you know, some of these, a couple of these don't have that in it. So right now I'm just trying to fluff and pull and tug and fluff and pull and get it all out of there. <laughs> it's funny looking over here at the phone and then I'm over here watching myself on Colin's phone. It's funny. All right. What am I going to put in the center? I didn't get anything for the center. Oh, you know what? Okay. So I'm going to put it, I'm going to put it right up here right there but I'm going I think I'm going to put okay so I have I don't think that will look good mm -hmm. are these you don't think so flour or cotton bowl okay so I have a couple of choices I think that's too big a couple of choices I don't think the brown no it's gonna I feel like you need something that's gonna pop pop like a piece of cotton all right, guys, I'm trying to decide what to put in the middle. Thank you, Donna, for sprinkling. I'm, I'm going to send this to a random person that sprinkles. It's a little coin purse. Isn't it the cutest thing? I'm going to send that to a follower that uh, sprinkles. Okay, so here's the choice. We always have to have a choice, so y'all get to help us pick. So here's my bow. I'm going to either put that flower in the middle that I got from uh, Hobby Lobby on clearance the other day. See that little flower? It's like a little rag flower. I'm going to either put that in the middle or I'm going to put a cotton bowl in the middle. I see a lot of cotton balls. I think it should be cotton cotton too. I can yep. always use that flower on I something I see a else. lot of cotton. Just because there's cotton down here, I need to pull the cotton in up here. How about we do this? How about I cut off a little piece of this? Just do like one little piece. Like, yeah, like, like a that. couple of leaves off the side. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, not that cotton has leaves like that, but what I'm gonna do. Thank you for sprinkling. Okay, Paige said cotton too. I didn't know you were on here, Paige. Well, I did know earlier, but I you hadn't said anything, so I didn't know if you were still here. They've been watching a movie. All right. She's been watching, she just ain't gonna listen to the sound. Cotton to match, cotton to match. Okay, I'm just cutting off the little back part of my cotton bowl. Look, it's missing a thing. Missing, a, it'll be all right. Okay, so let me get it down here where I can get it. Where's my... All right. Missing a thing. Okay. That's all right. I'm going to glue the leaves down. I'm just going to glue the leaves. I got some a little bitty of the lamb's ear, and I'm going to just kind of stick it there like that. 
Where's the other one? There it is. And I got another leaf. Cut that. Cut this off. What am I saying? Cotton ball, cotton ball, cotton I think, ball. I think the cotton's a hit. Oh, there's there's the leaf I have. That's the other leaf. Okay, I'll let that dry. Now I'm going to stick my cotton on. I just put some little lamb's ear leaves around it, and I'm fixing to not burn myself for the second time tonight. And hold it on there a second. I'm being careful, Karen. Thank you. So, and, and you could put in the middle of this, you could put, um, I actually was rummaging around and I was about late for my getting on because I have a little silver um, welcome. It came in the um, the harvest pack at Dollar Tree. It was like the little 10 words and it says welcome. And I used it in a live, but I didn't actually use it on something. And I was going to put it across here and I couldn't find it for the life of me. So I'll have to find it. And you could put something on here. You could just leave it like it is or and not put anything on it at all. But I'm actually going to hang this one in my living room or somewhere in my house. Okay. All right. So see, I put the little, put the little lamb's ear on the, on the sides and then the cotton in the middle. I think that looks so good, guys. Hey, Miss J. How are you? Ouch. What? I miss you. Miss J. Oh, hey, Deborah. Deborah J. Okay. <laughs> he's my, he's my helper. He's my, uh, put a picture of you and Colin in it. <laughs> Yep. You could put clips up here. You could do all kinds of stuff and hang pictures on it. Some uh, clothesline pins. Uh, clothes pins. Clothes pins. Clothesline pins. Clothes pins. Clothes line pins. I, I was trying to think of the word and it just kind of come out. Clothes pins. Some clothes pins and hang it up pins. there. With you like could. Some, you could do that. But like I said, wire. if you don't have an old frame, you could use a frame from, um, let me put it right there. Okay. All right. So I'm going to put it up here, I think. Right there. So um, I'll have to figure out something to put in the middle. I don't really know what to put in the middle. I'm going to glue it down. But you could use a frame from... Oh, Lord, look what happened. Crack and fail. My cotton came off. I didn't wait long enough. Chicken or a cow? Yes, Kathy, it does, doesn't it? I'll have to just cut me a chicken or a cow or something and put in the middle. It needs a hey, y'all, right in the Ooh. middle. That would be cute, too. But I looked for that welcome, and I could not find it. And I was like, oh, well, I got to go on live, so I can't look for it. So I'm holding my cotton bowl on there some more. I need the chicken on cow. Because I couldn't find the nautical rope that you made the door hanger with. Um, I, in my, um, hoping you would make it. The hangers. What's that say? Uh, I couldn't find the nautical rope you made the door hanger with, but I saw the rainbow hangers you were talking about. I was hoping you would make it. The rainbow. Oh, Yes, and I actually, I have something that um, I'm going to make that rainbow thing with that I'm going to do for y'all. Um, I, I got, um, what is it called? It's those little metal, the middle, the little metal fencing that you can get at Dollar General. And I'll get Colin to go get it in a second. Because I figured out, oh Lord, glue's going everywhere. I figured out a way to do that without... A little different without doing the actual wrapping of the rope. Look over there by that bookcase. And there's some of that little metal fencing so I can show them what I'm talking about. Metal chicken pigs. That cut. Yes, I've, I've seen those, Diane. I need to get something to put on there. Or something. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to show y'all what I'll, how I'm going to try to do the rainbow. But I'm going to do it a little different. So these came from Dollar General. It's just that little garden fencing. And you get... Two pieces of it for a dollar, just like this. So I'm going to probably get my husband to cut it off somewhere up here, or like, like where this joint is. And I'm gonna take some wire and I'm gonna make different things and I'm gonna put the fabric on it, like tie rag fabric on it, the torn fabric, and make a rainbow like that. I think I'm gonna try that. Make a something something sign to, on your machine and glue it on with chicken wire rug grip. <laughs> chicken, chicken. Charisse, chicken wire rug grip. That is so funny. Yeah, that's what we're gonna call it. It's not rug, it's not a rug gripper anymore. It's chicken wire rug grip. That is so funny. I made a paintbrush flowers for my daughter and Mother's Day. Awesome, Chris. That is awesome. Didn't you I think you sent me the picture of the paintbrush that you did? Y'all are so y'all just get so creative with what I'll show y'all and you turn it around and make it into 
do your own twist on it with colors and stuff. And it just blesses my heart when y'all shouldn't send me stuff. That's real Southern in it. It blesses my heart. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to show y'all. I hope the bow don't fall off. Maybe it's stuck. There it is. See, I just need to come up with something to go right here. And I had that welcome. And I couldn't find it. I don't know what I did with it. But I can put something on here. Decided that looks so much better. See, look how cute the bow is. Can y'all see that? Isn't it cute? I put the little lens here, and then y'all can see that up close right there. You can't see us, but you can see that. Isn't it cute? <laughs> but it looks so so good. But I gotta figure out what to put here. But you could do um, you could do the frame like I said from a canvas and use the wood part underneath the frame and do this with and stain it whatever color. And then, you know, put your stuff on a cardboard on the back and use that, use this right here and paint it like I did. But when I show y'all the pictures on the after pictures, if y'all will be able to see that it looks, uh, it looks a lot better in person. Hmm. Thank you all so much. Isn't it cute though? But I love this cotton and the lambs here. I think it's adorable because I have some cotton accents in my house. So it's going to go well with that. So... All right. Thank you, Carol. Thank y'all very much. And so if y'all sprinkle, I'm going to pick somebody in a little bit. I'll do a random drawing thing and I'll pick it and I will send this to somebody that sprinkles. So I appreciate it. I'm going to go put some ice on my blister. Yeah, welcome or family or bless. I could do that or I could put hey y'all or welcome y'all <laughs> since it's all southerned up with the cotton. Oh, thank you, Kelly. Thank y'all very much. I appreciate y'all coming on and spending your evening with us. Um, I, like I said, I love all of y'all. I love coming on here and talking and crafting and showing you stuff. Because then y'all reciprocate it and you send me stuff and show me what you've done. And it just it just makes tears come to my eyes because it's like, oh, wow, that's so cool. They they did that. And they, something I didn't even think about that they did. So it's so, um, so funny. <laughs> It's just so much fun. It's fun to inspire people and it's fun to teach people. And I love to have the community with all of you. And I mean, I feel like I've got friends and um, out of all of you. So yeah, Carol, he's going to watch the steps. <laughs> hey, y'all. Yeah, gal. I'm gonna, I think I might cut out a hey, y'all and, and put it on here or something. I'll figure something out. Happy Mother's Day to all of you. Um, it's, it's a hard day for me. Uh, as I as I don't, you know, I don't have my mother anymore, and it is a hard day for me, so y'all say a prayer for me. Um, it's even, it's been seven years since she's been gone. It doesn't make it any easier, um, but you just learn to live with it. But uh, I miss my mama dearly, and so I know so many of y'all don't have your mother either, And but, you know, she's watching out for me, I know. So, thank you, Linda. Oh, yeah, Donna. It's, it's, it's hard. It is hard. So, um, but I will see y'all. Maybe we'll Come on tomorrow night, I guess. Yeah, we'll probably come you, on tomorrow night and do something. Do. He's going to do the craft tomorrow night. Thank you, Miss Kathy. Yes. So thank y'all for making Colin feel welcome, okay? Yeah. Um, thank y'all. Y'all have a blessed Mother's Day, too. But we'll, we're going to try to come on tomorrow night and do a craft, and I'm going to... He's going to do it. Because i got a blister. I can't. <laughs> All right, guys. Y'all have um, a good night, and we'll see y'all. Y'all have a wonderful Saturday tomorrow, and we'll see y'all tomorrow night, probably. All right, guys, thanks for watching and sprinkling. See y'all later.